The Big East had reached the national stage in just its third season. And even before the ball was tipped, it was clear the new kids on the block didn't exactly fit in. When you get to North Carolina, people are just like, oh my God, who are these people? How did they come into the neighborhood? Billy, what a matchup at center. Pat Ewing, the seven-footer, what an intimidating presence he is. Everybody didn't look at us as they looked at North Carolina or all the other schools. To the outsiders, we were the thugs. You hear the breakers in the raw times. People were uncomfortable with this seven-foot black Jamaican kid, which is how they saw him. To NCAA championship. And they're playing a blue blood in North Carolina, and it's a seminal moment. I mean, one, bang. Two, bang. Okay, he's nervous. Three, bang. Wait a minute, he's not nervous. Four, bang. He's doing this on purpose. And the fifth one. He plainly was told to just knock anything near the rim, no out of the building, just to show him that you're there. I told him everything that comes at the rim, take it back. Take it back. Big John said, kids, meaning opponents, don't remember goaltending calls. They remember getting their shot blocked. 32 seconds to go. A one-point lead for Georgia. The time, 18. Shot, Jordan! Michael Jordan, 14 seconds. Look for it, look for Sleepy Floyd. Look. Oh, he threw it to the wrong hand. He threw it to Worthy. It's over. It's over. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win. But we had a rise. Ewing just played an outstanding basketball game. It was a breakthrough, and we did it as Frank Sinatra would say, not in a shy way. And after a season in which 10 out of the top 13 Eastern recruits had landed in Georgetown's conference, the outsiders from America's Northeast seemed poised to continue their loud forward march.